Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Guys, this one literally just came in. I went and bought and picked this one up myself just about an hour ago. You're looking at it completely in the raw, just how we bought it, just how the previous owner kept it. Um, I went down and picked it up in uh, southern Whitfield County, drove it about 40 miles here. It did great. Today we're going to look at a 2008 Monaco Monarch. The model number is a 33 SFS. It's, it's a medium size Class A. It's 34 feet, 3 inches long. It has 34,000 miles. Runs and drives great. Built on a workhorse chassis. Got the 8.1 liter Vortec VA. Now there's a couple of things we're going to do to it. And I'll show you that as we go through it. But it's, um, it's a nice motorhome, guys. Gentlemen that had it, bought it in 2011, bought it from the original owner. Been Georgia Motorhome its whole life. Uh, kept it under a shed. I picked it up at his house earlier. Um, this is how he kept it, guys. Washed, cleaned, ready to go. Um, generator's running right now, motor's running, everything about it. Just like it's supposed to be, guys. Except for a couple of things that we're gonna fix. And he was in Tennessee a few years ago and somebody backed into him in a parking lot so you got a little crack right there and i am going to get my guy to fix that. that's just fiberglass it's easy to fix the only cosmetic imperfections besides that is it's got that optional diamond shield on the front and it's starting to to discolor a little bit which is completely normal for a 12 year old motorhome um but it's going to be sold with that I also just ordered two wheel centers for it. The front wheel centers are missing. And I know this is all Mickey Mouse stuff, guys, but the, I'm just letting you know everything about it that I know. Um, so two wheel centers included, I'm gonna fix that crack in the front. But it's got the one piece, what they call the pan of view windshield. 34 feet, three inches long. It's a one slide unit, but is a full wall slide. So you basically have the entire side of the RV in a slide out. So that's the equivalent of two to three slide outs on a regular RV. Of course, this is a Monaco, guys. Same brand that builds Holiday Rambler, Beaver, Safari, and more. Nine layer fiberglass topped roof. And speaking of roof, let me pop up the drone. I'll be right back. All right, guys, let's continue on with the tour. Tires look great. You know, I am gonna drive it later in the video. It does have the 340 horsepower, 8.1 liter Vortec V8 gasoline, of course. The Allison six-speed automatic, so it does have the grade brake. 50 amp electrical service, got a 5,500 watt on generator running right now. 5,000 pound hitch on the back. Uh, roof ladder. Still got the Whitfield County, Georgia tag on it. It's got a power awning in great shape. I'd normally have it out, but it's a little windy today, so I'm not gonna put it out. I don't wanna take a chance. It does have the slam style baggage doors. Full body paint, polyethylene coated compartments, power step, no delamination. It's got the triple uh, camera system, so you got side cameras as well as a rear camera. They all work. Good looking motorhome, guys. Been kept under a shed when not being used. He had a really, really nice motorhome shed. Matter of fact, I tried to buy that off of him too. Uh, to have here just for an extra place to park RVs out of the weather. But he didn't want to sell it because he was eventually going to buy another motorhome. Let's look inside. And guys, again, this is just how it was kept by the previous owner. I haven't put carpet in it. I haven't cleaned it. We haven't washed it. Haven't. All I've done is I parked it right here and put the rooms out and turned some lights on and turned the AC and fridge on. That's it. As we look inside, guys, everything's original. Nothing's been changed. Nothing's been modified, customized, none of that nonsense. Original furniture, original carpet, 
original vinyl floor. Boy, that air feels good. It does have two ducted roof airs. They both work great. We'll start here in the cockpit area. No cracks, rock dings, or anything in the windshield. 34,454.9 miles before we test drive it. Backup camera. Uh, CD player works good. Matter of fact, he uh, left a uh, good CD in here too. Uh, Eagles Greatest Hits Volume 2. Great driving CD. But that works. Well, once I turn the switch on. <laughs> but let me know what kind of music y'all like to listen to on a long trip. huh? Two things I love to listen to is classic rock and country, and then I gotta have a, a mug of black coffee with me at all times. I usually carry a thermos with me when I when I drive RVs on a long trip. That's just kind of my thing. But um, it's got the power shades; they work, which is nice for driving. And you got that big one-piece windshield, and the sun's getting in your eyes. You've got manual side. Uh, visors are not power, but they're manual. They work. And then, of course, you got a curtain that goes all the way around this whole windshield. Flex steel captain's chairs, which are very, very expensive. It's a Monaco, after all. Bow swivel for party scene. Uh, tilt wheel cruise control works great. Heated power mirrors, fog lights. It does have, like I said, it does have the grade brake, which is basically the. Um, Equivalent of a jake brake or an exhaust brake on a diesel except it uses a transmission Do you feel it as much as you do on a diesel? No, um, it's not gonna slow you down like a diesel jake brake does but Going down steep mountains. It does make a difference and it helps save some of your brakes um, But like I said, it's not gonna be like uh, Jerky against the steering wheel when you flip that switch I, you know, unless you're really going fast and, and going down a mountain, then you're really not going to feel it very much. But dash looks good. They didn't have any smet, any any smet, smoke or bad odors, smet odors. I'm making up new words. Smet. I like it. Smoke. No smoke or bad odors. <laughs> uh, carpets look good. I mean, they may need. I may get uh, my crew in here to clean them for you. But I think, at best, that's all they need. There's no stains in it, nothing like that, and they're all original. I do like the 84-inch ceiling. Uh, it does have a couple of lights. I'm sure it's just a switch that I can't find that turns those on. But, of course, we know we're going to put it through our full inspection process for the price. And, of course, you've got Corian countertops, no stress cracks, solid wood cabinets, stovetop, nothing sagging this is a microwave convection oven so it's an electric oven as well as a microwave so you can nuke a bag of popcorn or you can bake your cake in that thing if you wanted to look at that guys <laughs> people just do not cook it kills me but I, I, everybody's got their own version of rv and i guess that's one of the things we enjoy doing in my motor home me and my wife we love cooking and we cook more in our RV than we do in our own home. Um, everything here looks great. Got the table and chairs. All the books and manuals are in there. There's a factory sales brochure and a physical copy of our four page inspection process. For anybody who wants to know everything this unit is going to be uh, what kind of inspection process we do, which is unmatched in this industry, especially for 12, 13 year old motor home. Look in the video description below. There'll be a link to that list. I like this full wall slide. See, everything from right here in the corner, right here, to behind the driver's seat is in one huge slide out. So it really opens it up, gives you a lot more open feel. You feel like you're in a bigger motor home than a 34 footer. Eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer, it's ice cold. Matter of fact, he had it plugged up under a shed and already cold when I picked it up got a full side enclosed bathroom so you know if you're in the bathroom you're not blocking access to any part of the RV except the bathroom of course uh, China RV toilet nice shower stickers still in great shape 
no water stains or anything around the skylight fantastic vent and fan fact it's got a couple of those in here nice open rear bedroom with a queen island bed nice comfortable mattress look right here tv closets i like the fact that there's night stands on each side of the bed and plug-ins so you can charge your cell phones up have a place to put your wallet phone stuff like that all the day night shades work great you do have a solid sliding door for privacy so just like that you completely isolated the bedroom from the rest of the RV and it's, I mean this is one finger operation right here guys just pull the catch down and open and close it locks in just as easy as that got a little pantry right here it's a nice motorhome guys of course, I'm gonna bring the room in like I always do, and then we're gonna I'm gonna get Kanae loaded up. We're gonna test drive it. But guys, this unit is 47.9, includes a 90-day nationwide Easy Care Limited warranty. You can extend very affordably or upgrade. Includes our full four-page inspection that process that's done after purchase. Again, guys, in the video description below is a detailed four page inspection process that goes over what we check and how we check it and guys no other dealer in the country is this thorough on a 12 year old used rv we're not most dealers guys we're a family owned and operated for 52 years and um, we sell a lot of rvs and we sell used you don't make it over half a century in this business unless you're selling a good product for a good price, and that's exactly what we do, guys. 47, 9, 34,000 miles, 2008 Monaco Monarch 34SFS. I'm going to take a test drive here in a little bit, but guys, here's how it works for anybody interested in buying this RV. First of all, you need to turn the video off, pick up a phone, and call us. 706-965-7929. Be prepared to leave a deposit. This thing will not last long. Get here, look at it, test drive. And I keep in mind, we do not do test drives on Saturdays. That's Monday through Friday only if you want to test drive it. I don't have the manpower on Saturdays to send somebody out on a test drive if I send a salesperson out. All day Saturday, they juggle four to five customers at the same time. And people get mad because the salesperson's gone for 30 minutes on a test drive and all my other guys are busy and they can't take care of the people so that's why i can't do test drives on saturday i might sell one i might lose a sale every once in a while but i lose a lot more sales by letting people test drive them on saturdays because i'll have people walk out of here mad and um so that's why we don't do test drives on saturdays um please if you want to test drive which i have no absolutely no problem with come during the week Monday through Friday 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. but anyway guys and of course you know we want to make sure that you're actually a buyer um, you know if somebody comes in here and they can't finance an RV they don't have any money there's no sense getting them out and test driving them but you know if you can if you can buy we'll definitely take you for a test drive this is a nice motor home and of course I'm gonna test drive it and um, I just got through driving at 40 miles so what's a few more right <laughs> no it's fun you know that's one of the perks of my job i guess i get to get out not like i used to of course but i get to get out and pick stuff up like this sometimes i mean it makes it fun uh, definitely keeps it interesting and it gives me a chance to kind of get to know the rv a little bit too so a 47.9 includes a full four-page inspection process that's done after purchase if you want to know the current lead time for a Class A motorhome checkout. Ask your salesperson. Now, keep in mind, it's an estimate. Guys, I don't know if you've been following uh, the latest news in the RV industry. We are experiencing the worst parts shortage in the history of the RVs. 
guys parts that we used to be able to get, keep in stock have the next day or go to the nearest co competitors RV dealership and get is nationally back ordered um, parts that I can get in a day is taking six weeks sometimes to get I don't think this unit because I've already checked the jacks out because the jacks were down when we picked it up I had to, I had to uh, uh, you know put them back up and all that stuff I know the major stuff works I don't foresee any problems but there has been some it's a weird world right now guys I wake up every day expecting something different to happen um, it's a weird it's a weird time for this industry not just in I mean we're selling double what we normally sell this time of year because of COVID-19 people can't Stay in, nobody wants to stay in hotels. Nobody wants to cruise or fly. If you want to take your family on vacation, you got two choices: sleep in your car, stay at home, or buy or three choices: or buy an RV. Um, unfortunately, right now, because of the national part shortage, new RVs are months and months and months. Like today, if I ordered a new Prowler or a new Nobo, I'm looking at December. January before it's ready to be picked up and there's no guarantee it'll be ready then that because they don't have it's not the fact that they don't have the people to build them they don't have the parts to build them um, because of the part shortage why so many components of RV parts are built overseas uh, are built in plants that COVID has shut down um, it's just it's a mess right now guys so I do ask, understand that sometimes getting these things ready may take a little longer than usual. But guys, here's the thing. You're spending almost $50,000. A few extra days to make sure it's right instead of right now. I don't think anybody can argue with that. Um, and if I'm spending this much money on an RV, I want it right. And I don't want it rushed through. I want it done. So you know, if it takes a couple extra days, you got to wait for a part. Please understand we're doing the best we can with what we have. Um, I, have plenty, I have plenty of manpower. Just parts is really beginning to be a pain. Um, even basic stuff. You know, those little brass pressure reducers that everybody uses for the water hose. National back order. So if you got one, guard it with your life. <laughs> if you if you leave your campsite and you leave it hooked up to the, pit, to the spigot, turn around and go back and get it. Because you're going to have a hard time getting another one. They can get those little cheap plastic ones all day long, but the, the, the good ones there, no. And that's just many, uh, just an example of, of what we're going through. Air conditioners, awnings, parts for those non-existent. Like right now, guys, I couldn't buy a rooftop AC if my life depended on it right now. Everybody sold out. Luckily, I, I, I keep a few in stock and I got some of those left, but those are not for sale. I would not. I don't care if you offer me three times the dealer cost for them. I'm not selling those ACs because I can't get them for the units when I need them. Anyway, guys, this I'm sorry to rant, ramble. It's been crazy. Uh, this unit, 47.9, is a 100% haggle-free, non-negotiable, firm, firm price. Includes a 90-day warranty. Includes a full inspection. Includes a full orientation that's done after it's been through service and cleanup, which is done after purchase. If you again, if you want a lead time, ask your salesperson. Um, also includes 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time, at select RV resorts nationwide. Also includes a um, drive-out tag, an RV starter kit, if there is one available. Starter kits are on back order too. But they are coming out with them every three or four weeks, and I've been stocking up. So I'll try to give you one, but if I don't have one, I'll I'll I'll, I'll get you one as soon as I get one in. But guys, right now it's a, it's a crazy world. Anyway, we're going to throw in some DVDs, instructional DVDs as well as a full orientation that's done after purchase and cleaned up. Uh, what it is when this unit after you purchase it, it goes in line to get checked out. Everything's in writing. You got nothing to worry about. When the uh, when it gets up to its place in line, gets checked out. Then when it's through with service, it gets cleaned up, in, inside and out. Then we do a final walkthrough. If we're happy, we'll call you to schedule an appointment. Do not ask your salesperson when you buy 
when it will be ready because we don't know we can give you an estimate but don't make plans on that estimate uh, we may have it done sooner maybe later but we do our best to get it to you in a timely manner but still do our jobs and that's to make sure that you can take it to the campground and enjoy it without working on it but anyway you get a full orientation once you arrive here at the appointed time you can record it with by Preston my walkthrough expert who you can record with your phone or camera and yes he does wear masks and gloves when he's talking to you and he's in the RV with you so don't worry about that but thank you for watching guys uh, what I'm gonna do is bring the rooms in take a quick clip and then I'm going to get can loaded up we're gonna take it for a drive so hang tight let's bring this room all right easy enough it is kind of easier with just one slide instead of having two or three slides with switches and multiple locations for anybody interested in the slide out procedure parking brake on motor off of course make sure your front seat is clear of the slide out wall you don't want to tear the back of the seat out so and that's true with any of them it's a hydraulic slide which is good on a big one like this and you've got a switch right here on the wall and bring it in um, you know you can still you still have access now guys keep in mind I'm bigger than most of you I'm six foot four 300 pounds and I'm sure there's a few of you that are my size or bigger it's a little bit of a tight squeeze coming through here I've got to go sideways however if you're a normal size person that shouldn't be a problem um, and it's not impassable and it's a little tight getting into the bathroom as well but again not impossible for somebody my size so just keep that in mind now the rest of the RV of course is a um, no problem but just so you get to that one little section and again right here like I said I can get in but you can see it's a tight fit So no problem there. It's like I said, a tight squeeze. Anyway, guys, uh, let me get Kanae loaded up. We're going to take this thing down the road, do a little test drive. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, guys, I got Kanae loaded up. and We're going to take it for a test drive. So let's take her down the road. And like I said, I drove this thing about 40 miles earlier. and Everything did great on it. You know, if I absolutely had to pick it, it's been sitting for a little bit. I'd probably... Uh, I don't know if the front tires got flat spots because they're sitting on concrete or maybe need to be rebalanced. But other than that, I mean, it was fine. And it's actually got pretty decent power, too. Like I said, it does have the six speed Allison, so which is a great, especially with that great brake going down mountains, it's a great transmission. And maybe we get out of here. <laughs> We're gonna take off up this hill. Of course, we got a truck in front of us. Get around them. And as you can see, going up this steep hill from a dead stop, it holds its own pretty good. I mean, considering you're in a 34 foot vehicle. You can definitely outrun a dump truck from a dead stop going up this hill. so it's very well insulated doesn't have a lot of uh, engine noise like you hear in a lot of class A gas motor homes well, we're doing 60 miles an hour right here no problem
always best to try to get as close as possible to interstate speeds, even in a big vehicle like this. Thanks again for watching my video and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.